Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77 and today we're back on the Patreon server. I haven't been here in a while. I've been doing so much stuff with the uh, Christmas holiday and the New Year's holiday and other things that I haven't had much time on here. So I am back here right now, but currently I'm on the camera account and this account has the ability to be in creative mode and that is because because the new month is here. The new month is here, and so we have to do the new Patreon rewards and the new members. And we did acquire one new member, and so we've set him up over here. This is Bar Talon. Bar Talon is a friend of mine, and he has finally been able to sign up. And so he is here. I haven't seen him on the server yet, but I know he'll be here soon. So we set up his reward, which right here is a place in the pillars of the community. These are the people who have started to uh, sign up for the Patreon server, and you can see we've got many of those there. We also have these little stations here, and I'd like to remind people that even though you subscribe to the YouTube channel, I also do streaming, and those are for the members who sign up uh, to help out with uh, covering the costs of YouTubing and streaming. Sounds like we got a parrot fight going on. Anyway, we're going to go over here, and we're going to go over towards the town. Yeah, you might get a little bit of a view. You haven't seen this in a while. The lighthouse is there that Thomas Grillo made. There's my tree house. It's massive. And we have, here is Thomas Grillo's house. We have Pause Player 10's house. DSA Girl, Ramnificent, Jude, and Kent. So I do not see Bart Talon's place yet. But I wanted to go over here. I wanted to make sure that we did get set up in the post office, which was on my last video. I wanted to make sure that uh, Bart Talon has a mailbox and also to see if there's any mail. So, Merry Christmas to all my patrons, and I did uh, give them some things. And I can see here that uh, Kent has some mail, Pause Player 10 has some mail, Ram has some mail, and then Bar Talon is set up. See, there we go. So that's great. So I'm going to log off of the camera account and go back to the regular old me account, and we're going to start the things that we're going to do for today, okay? All right, I just logged back on. You can see Thomas gave me the welcome back, Tinker. I am back on my island. I'm hiding in my little AFK spot, which is where I usually do AFK fishing. I say usually. I'm not really doing it. I've only done it once, but this place is secure, so I can be here. So phantoms don't get me, that sort of thing. So we're going to go out really quick. And I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to sleep through the night to get it daytime. I don't really have to worry about mobs here, except for maybe phantoms that might spawn outside of the mushroom biome. I'm not sure if mushroom biomes can, they can spawn there, but I don't want to take the chance, okay? So, I have over some time, I've logged on here every little bit, and I've tried to start convert this island over to grass. And you can see I've done that clear over there. I have like another section just about ready to go and I'll do that probably later on. But for today, what I think I want to do is I want to start to work on getting some micro farms going, some automation. Because we do have redstone, we do have the stuff, iron and things, we can make pistons, we can make everything. We can't make sticky pistons because we don't have any slime yet. But um, we can start to get some resources here. So I'm thinking that maybe we can start to get, as an example, pumpkins and melons. That's probably the first thing I'm going to do. And I might do it right up here on this little spot. Try to work out a way to make a melon and pumpkin farm. So one of the first things I'm going to do here is I really would like to have a way of gathering the resources that come out. I want to have a chest and then I would also like to have a hopper and then uh, probably a water stream. So I'm going to work on that first. So let's go over here. Let's see. I have water on me. We should have some wood in here and we do have some wood. Um, so we're going to make a chest really quick here. Actually, we're going to make two chests or five chests if you would say. And then we're going to make get some iron here and we're going to make um, a hopper. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to run over here. I think what I'm going to do, do I, have a, I don't even have a shovel? Really? I'm going to make a shovel? <laughs> Tinker doesn't have a shovel. I got a lot of stuff here. I really should put some of this stuff away. I don't have much storage, so we'll just throw some things in here. And the gold can go in this chest. A little organization. I was working on the... Um, jungle treehouse back at the town and a lot of that is from it okay uh, I said I was gonna make a shuttle a shovel a shuttle I'm making a shuttle guys so to go up into space I'm gonna make some sticks here and I'm just gonna make an iron shovel for now and that'll work okay 
So my idea here is I want to have all of this going into some sort of double chest. I'm going to put it right here, I think. So let me, uh, yeah, let's put this right here. Here we go. Okay. And I'm going to have a hopper going into that. This is the output line. Okay. And I think, let's see, I'm going to go at multiples of two. The way I have the design thought about in my head is like this. I'll do the same thing on the other side. So let me do that right here. Okay. And we need glass to be right here over this chest so we can open it and so that we can um, stop the water. And I don't know if I have any glass. I do have some glass. Good. Excellent. Okay, so let's do this real quick. So we'll get the first part of this design done. There we are. So we have some glass. And now if I take the bucket of water, water just goes down there, over to there, and stops. And we can open the chest. Fantastic! The next thing we're going to do is we're going to start to make up the frame of this section. I'm going to make get some stone here for some stone brick. I think that that'll make it look a little bit nicer. We'll use that. And then we're going to need some other things. Let me go do this first. The idea here is we're going to have observers and pistons and they're going to be pushing the plants. The plants are going to be on here and they'll grow and the pistons will push them off. Okay, so if we have, let's see here. Let's put a ring around it right here. Okay. And this is where the pistons and the observers will be sitting. And I don't know if we're gonna have enough of this, but we'll see. I just demolished that, that's okay. Uh, okay, there we go. So now, after we get this part done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put those things in, the pistons and observers. And then we're gonna have this thing running and it's gonna be fantastic okay now I do need an extra row back here on each side for some redstone action okay so let me put that there right there okay and I'm gonna put the there's a block I need to put right there there we go okay so that's the basic setup of this farm so now what we need to do is we need to get six observers and six pistons and i sure hope i have enough cobblestone oh i have plenty of cobblestone okay excellent we have iron we have cobblestone we need to get some redstone uh it's in one of these i think yes we could let's get a stack of that we also need some quartz for the observers and they are up here uh-oh I don't have a lot of quartz, but we only need six because we need to, uh, yeah, one for each observer. And what else do we need? We need some wood, don't we, guys? Yes, we need some wood. Um, that should be enough. Okay, let's do this. So we're back over here. The observer recipe is pretty simple. It's just uh, cobblestone. Why is it doing that? I don't understand. Let's get rid of the book. It's cobblestone up there. And I'll split it in half. doesn't matter. Cobblestone there, you have put a uh, quartz there. You split it up and you make six observers. There we are, okay. Now the other thing we're gonna make is pistons. Pistons takes the wood up here. It takes cobblestone here and here on the sides. And I believe it's iron and redstone. There it is, one, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent, okay. So let's go put these things in place. Okay. And I believe the way I have this set up in my design is, I always get it backwards. Every time I do this, I get observers backwards. I still get it backwards. Let me put some uh, temporary blocks up here on the side here so we can do this. <laughs> okay, so you have an observer. No! Ooh. Tinker just about flooded everything. That's just terrible Tinker. Terrible Tinker? That's kind of funny. So we go over here and you put in an observer which is, see the arrow is kind of like facing towards that, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a piece of redstone here, which should power into the block and then over. I think maybe doing this backwards, actually. Maybe I am doing this back, I think I am. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Tinker's messing up. Okay, we want the observer, uh, the block will be there, but I think we want the observer here. Right like that, and then we have the block, and then we have the piston facing this way 
Where are my pistons? There they are. And I fell into water. And how do I do this on this side? Nope. This is not a good way to do it. I have to put a block here as a temporary block. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm making so many mistakes right now. There we go. Now, get rid of this block. Okay. And we put the redstone back. Like that. Okay. So, basically, what's going to go on here is... Now that I get rid of these two temporary blocks... Okay, you can see all that change. So, what we're going to do is we're going to plant the plant here. Either a melon or a pumpkin. And when it grows right here we're actually we're gonna put it yes here then this will make this fire it's getting dark and of course I get messages on my phone I'm a professional let me go get the plan here and get this set up and I'll show you how this works okay so what I did is I took the hoe and farmed this land and then I put a pumpkin seed here and this immediately fired now when the pumpkin grows up to be a certain size the observer will see the pumpkin growth okay and of course it makes the pumpkin over here and this will then push the pumpkin breaking it and causing it to go into the water now it's not efficient it could go over here you might have some loss but I'm not really concerned about it at this point in the game okay I'm not really concerned about that at all so we're gonna basically go over here and do the rest of this okay so we need here we are we have the pistons and the observers and the pistons go right here okay and the observers go this way it's kind of, no, not that way. Gotta be very specific with these things. Here we go, I'm gonna rid of this one too. Okay, right. And then you wanna have, behind the piston, you wanna have your redstone. Okay, so right here, should be there, and we put a block over here, and where's my redstone? Okay, and then same thing here. Redstone and a block. Okay, and that's it for this side. Now, this whole thing, ooh, there we go. See, it pushed that whole block. That was kind of cool. Is that we're going to basically go over here. We're going to put this here and this here, and then we're going to put the pumpkin seeds down. You can see how that fired. So it will do the pushing of the pumpkins when they grow. I'm going to build the same thing right now on the other side and put in melon seeds. I've created this on both sides now. Melons over here, pumpkins on this side, and of course I enclosed it, so... If any drops go in there, they're supposed to go into the water. If they don't make it, that's okay. Because sometimes these things will push them out anyway. So we'll just let it go and see what happens. Now you saw them fire right there. And that's because whatever plant the observer was watching did hit a growth. But it hasn't yet formed the melon. So we don't have anything quite yet. I'm going to sit here just for a little bit, I think. And wait till this gets some results. Just to show you that this does work. Okay, so I'll be back in just a second. I think we've had a drop. You can see that the plants have actually grown, and hopefully they'll uh, spawn something while we're sitting here. But looking down here, we have received two pumpkins, so this side seems to be performing a little better than this side, but that's okay. I mean, we'll get some of these things and some of these drops, and this will help get us this resource. It's a very small farm. I want to make a very large one eventually, but this is uh, getting us started, which is kind of nice. So, I'm not sure what I want to do for the rest of this episode. I know that I do need to go and get some more diamonds. I do not have very many. I don't have any diamond armor yet, and wow, my armor is about dead. I had not realized how close to dead that was. Um, but if you look here, I have, I have a stack. I can make diamond armor, but then that really limits what we can do here. I do have this Fortune 3 Efficiency 5 pick with mending. That's good. And I've got an Efficiency 2 that I have as like a backup. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to do the traditional start of a series uh, mining session. A one hour one, I think. I've got some time today before I go do a stream later today. So I think I'm going to do that so I can get the resources. So I'm going to get everything cleaned up and I'm going to go over to the mine and we're going to do that. Okay. So if you have any ideas of what you think I might get, put them down in the comment section. Let me know. We'll see if you're close. Okay. I don't know what the prize will be if you win, but eh, we'll see. See you in a sec. I'm back 
from the mining session, as you saw. And I just put all of the other stuff away that we don't usually care about, cobble and that sort of thing. But here's what we got this time. We got a lot of redstone and I have been compressing it down. We have a lot of lapis, not a lot, lot, but we have some. We got some coal. We got a little stack and a little more of iron. Then here we have 14 gold. Not a lot of gold, but we got a lot of diamonds here, okay? So I'm going to put that over here in our special stuff here. Look, now we've got two and a little bit of stacks of that. And there we go, okay? Now the iron and the gold, we need to put that in our fur furnace system. So let's start the iron and the gold. And there they go. They're going to start cooking up. Uh-oh. Why is, oh, how does that tropical fish get in there? Ah, I don't know, but there they go. They're loading up. That is weird. Let's put this tropical fish someplace. Here we go. Okay. And yeah, so the coal blocks, I'm just going to throw in here. I've used coal blocks and I do use the dried kelp blocks. So that's good. Now let's go back over here to this. We're going to see how this has been doing because this technically has been loaded. We've got five pumpkins and we have ten melon slices, which is probably like one or two melons have done, have grown. So it's, it's producing. We're going to get some stuff here. That's good. That's really good. I really like that. I'm on my way back to spawn, to town, and I always look around here because sometimes there are some uh, wither skeletons and things. And look, we have an enderman. I'm going to look at him and go where he cannot get me. Um, he can still kind of get me here, can't he? Someone has taken away my dirt. We're going to put this right here. There we go. Okay, we're going to get this because I want ender pearls. So, hi. I'm looking at you, buddy. Here he comes. Here we go. We're gonna get him. Ah! There we go. We get any pearls here? There we go. We got some pearls. Sweet. Now, on, on occasion, we can have some uh, wither skeleton spawn out here. Now, Thomas didn't know that this is going to be a uh, where the wither skeleton farm is, and he was making a bridge to this location so he could get to. Uh, a, a base that he's made in the desert. So we're going to be relocating this. So this won't be here later. But as you can see, this is a great place for doing a wither skeleton farm because it's over lava. So if you're standing out here and no one's on, then it has to load around the area where we are here. And so that's why we're thinking this might be a good place to do some wither skeletons. I'm going to look around. If I see any wither skeletons, I will kill them. And then uh, we'll be back over at the main town. Approaching the center town nether portal, we have now this nice nether hub. Thomas has spent a lot of time flattening this out. We've got a lot of stuff going on here. There are some tracks going out to Ramnificent Space and outbound and inbound. That's kind of nice because people are doing that. And then when you go in here, you have a place where you can go and you can see a pigman just went into town. But that's okay. But this is the main portal going to town. And this place over here goes to Tinker and Ramnificent Space. Over here, we have a place going to uh, Thomas's beta site. And over here right now, we have uh, the Mesa XP we, uh, it's farms for skeleton farms. And we have a way going to the jungle. And I'm not sure what's south, okay? Now, Thomas did get in a little bit of trouble out here because of uh, he hit a pig man and he couldn't get away from it. So he made these little safe rooms like this, okay? And you go in here, you can be safe. You can wait out the pig men so that they don't, uh, they can despawn. Uh, not despawn. Their uh, timer, their aggro timer can go away and it'll be friendly again so you have a chance to wait. So there, it's kind of cool. A little safety measure. I'm going to head on in town and we're going to see what's going on there. Okay, guys. I showed up at, here at DSA's house. You just tagged me. That's bad. We're on fire. We'll jump in Kent's pool. There we go. Okay, so DSA is trying to hit me here. We're having a little bit of fun on this server. Oh! Tagged! I just died! Oh my gosh, thank you! Uh, wow, where am I respawning here? I'm back here at the... Uh... Oh my gosh, guys, we died. <laughs> Thomas is here in Discord with me. He's listening in. Oh, he's laughing. Now I better go get my stuff. I don't know why I deserve that. I lost all my stuff now. And look, 
There goes the thief. Took everything. <laughs> Picking it all up. <laughs> She's giving my stuff back. Some of it. Okay. I got it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> we got tagged. Okay, guys. Uh, back in a sec. I'm downstairs right now in DSA's basement. She's asking, which one of these do I like better? Uh, I don't know. I think I like the middle one. Let's tell her middle one. I like the middle one better. Look at this. She's in her little basement. You know, when you're up here, I'm going to show you this, guys. This is kind of cool. Um, you know, there's not much up here, right? You got this little bit of land, little dinky house, and a little, little thing here with spider webs and stuff. And this is a banner shop that she's working on. But when you come down here, underground, it got a little storage area that she's made. Got some places where she can harvest vines. Looks like she can access storage from there. An enchanting station, that's really cool. And she has some cows. Got her uh, smart furnace system and some cactus. And she's got some cocoa beans. Is there more over here? No, but this is pretty cool. I really need to step up my game here and work on my uh, area, which is what I was going to do, but I think I've run out of time for this video. Um, my house, I'm going to show her my house and show you what I've got. Um, I've been working on making a tree house. During a stream, we suggested that we do a tree house, so we have a tree house over here. But I haven't gone underground at all. So if you look over here, you can see that's my tree house. It's pretty tall. I, I had to be taller than the, uh, the lighthouse, okay? But uh, in essence, you go up here, and you come out up here, I do have a bed, and you go over here and you can climb up this vine ladder. Okay, and you can see here, you have a little chest where I have some building materials. And I was gonna work on that, and then you go up even further here. Okay, I think that was where I go up. Uh, there it is, okay, and there's another one of these water elevators. And you take this one up even further, and then you go on up and around, there's like a little staircase. See, so you can go on up, and you can go on up, and we have got to make a way to climb up all the way up there and get to a spot. But you're really high up here, and it's really cool because you can look down on the town and see what's going on. And look, guys, there are one, two, three, four, five more open plots in the initial starting town. And that means that we need other people to join the Patreon server at the gold level or better to get here. So if you haven't joined yet and you are thinking about it, you know, if you want to reach out to me on Discord, you know, talk about what's going on, just give us a shout out and we'll talk about that. So hopefully you like this and uh, it'll be kind of fun to have you here. But like I said, that's all I have time for today. So I'm going to end here on the tree. I'm not going to jump. That'd be bad. But uh, <laughs> that would be very bad. Anyway, guys, uh, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, please put them down in the comment section. And you there, if you, 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 are new here please subscribe and if also if you're a subscriber and you want to be notified of the videos i produce don't forget to hit the little bell icon and you'll get those notifications every time yes yes you will okay so thanks guys have a great day bye bye